Hello friends, welcome to Codage. In this session, we will see how to configure event notification in the Amazon S3 bucket. So that whenever we do some changes in the S3 bucket like creating object or deleting object from the bucket, it will invoke AWS Lambda function. As you see in the diagram, in the configuration, we will create a S3 bucket and we will create a Lambda function. And we will upload object into the S3 bucket so that whenever object is uploaded into S3 bucket, it will call AWS Lambda function. But we will create this configuration using AWS cloud formation. For that, we will create a handler in the Java and we will create a SAM template and we will deploy it using SAM CLI. This template is going to use by AWS cloud formation. It will create a stack and in the stack, it will create ST bucket and the Lambda function and the event configuration in the S3 bucket. I have already created video how to do the same configuration manually from the AWS console. So I will attach that link in the video description. So let's get started. So let's create project in the Java. I will be using IntelliJ. Let's give it a name as AWS Lambda S3 SAM deploy. I will be using build system as a Gradle. JDK version will be 11. And let's click on the create button. So our project is initialized. Let me delete auto generated code. And let me add dependency for our Lambda function. So first dependency is AWS Lambda Java code that is for our Lambda function. And second is AWS Lambda Java event that is for the S3 event. Let me add few more configuration like compatibility version for our Java. So let me add that. So here you can see source compatibility equal to Java version 11, same for the target compatibility. Second configuration I have added to create a zip file. So it will use library folder from which it will use executable jar and it will create a zip file. And it will also contain dependencies for our executable jar file let's refresh the dependencies now next let's add class to define our lambda function our class name will be lambda sc sam deploy let's click on the class and here we will implement request handler which will accept s3 event and will return string and let's implement handle request method our handle request method will accept s3 event and it will return string so i have already code for lambda function let me copy that to save some time okay let me explain it so first i am using a logger that is a lambda logger i am getting object for it from the context object next is I am using S3 event to get records and this will be a list from which I am getting first element and I will get S3 event notification record from this list. Now using this S3 event notification record, I am getting S3 entity. Okay. Now using this S3 entity, I will get the bucket name. So what I am doing, S3 entity dot get bucket using this bucket i am getting name for that bucket and i am assigning it to string variable next is to get source key okay for that also i am using s3 entity from which i am getting object and using this object i am getting key name for that object okay and next three statement are to log the same information that we receive like recording the event name that we are getting then source bucket and the source key okay this is clear now next we will add template.yaml file so template.yaml file is get used by sam cli to create our resources in the aws so let me copy some configuration so what it tells this transform parameter tells that this template is of type SAM template so that AWS CloudFormation can create resources 
using this template. Now let's add resources. So our first resource will be S3 bucket. So let me give it a name. Okay, so you can give any name here. I am giving S3 bucket. So first parameter will be type. Type will be S3 bucket. Next is a properties for our type. That is for S3 bucket. So what will be the property? First will be the bucket name. So let me give bucket name. Or bucket name will be YT demo bucket. I am giving here a random number to make it unique name. Then next parameter will be the access control of type private. Now you can see our first resource is created that is S3 bucket. Now let's create a next resource that is a lambda function. And again, you can give any name here. So type will be serverless function. Let's define properties for our lambda function. So first property will be the function name. So our function name will be lambda function for yt demo. Then the handler. The handler will be our method name. So let me copy our method name. First we will require our class name that will be lambda s3 deploy from this package. And next is a method name that is handle request. So next parameter is code URI. This parameter will be path to our zip file. So our zip file will get generated into build folder into distribution folder. And our zip file name will be AWS Lambda S3 SAM deploy. That is our project name. For that, let me remove this version. We will not use version here. Now next, we will define a runtime for our Lambda function. It will be Java 11. Let's define timeout. That will be 30 seconds. And next is a most important part that is policies. So first policy will be AWS Lambda basic execution rule. Okay, so that is a basic policy required for Lambda. And next policy will be Amazon S3 read only access. Okay, so we have defined here our Lambda function. Now next part is a, to define event notification for our S3 bucket. So let's add events. In the events, let's add name for it. And let's define type. So type will be S3 because we want to receive event from the S3. Properties for it. So what will be the properties? First property will be the bucket. So we have already defined bucket here. So we will refer same bucket from here. For that we will use rep. And let's copy this name S3 bucket. Next is the events. On which events we want to invoke our lambda function. So that's events we have to define here. So our template.yaml file is ready. We, we have first defined S3 bucket. Then we have defined lambda function. Okay. Then we have defined event for event notification in which we have defined event type of S3 and the events for which we want to invoke our lambda function. So let's build our project. Let me go into terminal. So I am in the project directory. So let me build it using Gradle. So build is successful. Let's do a SAM build. Now you can see it has created artifacts into .aws-sam folder. Let me go into IntelliJ. Now you can see it has created artifacts in this folder. Also you can see in the build folder in the distributions, it has created the zip file. 
now we will do a sam deploy so what will sam deploy will do it will deploy this artifact into s3 bucket so that lambda function can use that code to execute so let me copy this command and let's run it so let's give a name to our stack so this is my default region so you can see what are the parameters in the bracket that will be a default value so if i press enter it will consider values from the bracket so let me press enter confirm changes before deploy let me give s allow sam cli im role creation now in the bracket if you see if this parameter is in capital so if i press enter it will consider this capital letter as a default value so let me press enter disable rollback give it a s save arguments to configuration files press enter sam configuration file sam config.toml let's press enter sam configuration environment it will be a default press enter so now it will show summary of the resources like what kind of resources it is going to create into aws so our chain set is ready let me go up you can see it has uploaded the artifact into this bucket and it is also showing what kind of resources it is going to create so first resource is lambda function role then the lambda function s3 event permission then the actual lambda function and the st bucket let me go into the aws console let's go into cloud formation and into the s3 bucket and you can see here default stack is created let me go into the events it has created the sam cli source bucket then the policy for that bucket if you go into s3 bucket it has created bucket and deploy our artifacts okay and second stack you can see that is waiting for the review so let me go into the terminal and let's deploy this chain set now you can see it has successfully created the stack you can see all the resources here that is i am role is created then lambda function is created then lambda permission is created and the sc bucket is created if you go into the console you can see the same thing here that is function role then the lambda function s3 bucket and the actual stack now let's go into the s3 bucket let me refresh it you can see yt demo bucket is created let's go into the properties in the event notification section you can see notification rules added if you click on the first let's click on the edit you can see event type is added that is object creation let me go back let's see the second rule that will be for the delete so you can see second rule is for object removals let me go into the lambda function our lambda function is created here let's click on that and you can see in the runtime setting runtime will be java 11 and this is our class name and the method name and if you go into the configuration you can see here that is amazon s3 it has added permission now if you go into the resource based policy statement if you click on it and let's click on the view policy here you can see it has added permission to s3 bucket to invoke our lambda function now let's go back into s3 bucket let me upload some file in it so click on the upload add files let me add lambda service.png file that is an image file and let's click on the upload and let's go into the lambda function click on the monitor click on the view cloud watch log 
let's click on the log stream and you can see our event name is logged here that is object created then our bucket name then our key that is object name that is lambda service dot png okay so this is how we have configured our event notification for s3 using cloud formation that's it for this lecture thanks for watching the video